What courtyard would be complete without the obligatory barbie? So we're going to show you how to build a simple barbecue using formed concrete blocks and handmade bricks. And like all the best barbies, we're going to have it connected to mains gas. Shall we measure it up? You might think that was hard, but not as hard as mixing the concrete, and that's the next job. Lovely. I reckon we need some more, Dino. Yeah, I'll go mix up Well, if anything, the mix is a little bit wet, but it, it's okay. It actually spreads really well. We just need, oh, a lot more. Okay, well, we'll hand scrape the rest and check the levels. Um, it's really quite wet now, but it won't stay wet. It won't hold the moisture long in this sand, so you've got to act fairly quickly before it goes off. And while that's going off, let's go and check the marinade and make sure the meat's not... Not what? Going off. Right. Once the base is cured, we can begin the barbie. So here's our barbie pack, the formed limestone look blocks. We've got the handmade bricks for the stretcher courses, and we've got the uh, bullnose capping for the top. And these are the tools you'll need to do it. And you'll need some of this pre-mixed concrete. We used five bags. You'll need your level, very important. You don't want your barbecue to fall over. And the uh, roof carpenter's square, it also helps. But if you haven't got one, you can use a tape measure for that. Ricky's light cement to three parts sand produces the perfect mortar mix. The large blocks are quite user friendly and fairly easy to lay. Setting up the first course takes time, but it's worth the effort. It's the base of your barbecue. Pretty reasonable, actually. Ah, look at that. That's good, 1500. 1500. We backfill the joints. The header course of handmade bricks adds character and contrast to the barbecue. Well, we're under our first header course of handmade bricks. There's two more courses of blocks to go on top of that, another course of handmade bricks, and then the barbecue goes on top of that. We roll finish the joints and then lightly brush. <laughs> Those levels are pretty good. Good. Yeah, that's looking great. Well, we've got this far. The levels are great. We're just checking it to make sure it's right. Using the that's barbecue frame as a guide, we fit the bullnose top capping. Later, to prevent staining, we'll seal it. That's pretty level, actually. Good. Well, there it is. It's, uh, it's come up pretty well. The barbecue fits and uh, there's only one thing left to do. Have it connected to mains gas. That's right. Mains connected gas barbecues must have adequate ventilation. Your Alinta approved gas installer will check this before connecting you to mains natural gas. Well, we've installed our four burner barbie. It fitted really well into our barbie kit. We've sealed the top so it won't stain and you can see what we're doing now. Looks great, Dean. We're drinking. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.